I'm uh, Craig Billingham. I'm the managing director of the Food Machine Company. Foon is a company that produces bespoke equipment traditionally for the automotive market but is now looking to produce the, the same type of equipment for domestic air conditioning and uh, commercial air conditioning markets. And we, we effectively make the machines that make heat exchangers. So it's radiators for cars, air conditioning units uh, for cars, the climate control systems, that, that uh, type of core that goes into those products. We've been a Sage company, a Sage a customer since I, I joined the company ten, uh, well, ten and a half years ago, and it was originally a Sage Line 100 company when the original manage, uh, buyout was done in 1994, and since that point we've used Line 100 on DOS right the way up until 2004. The main business benefits of taking Sage 200 was to actually increase the visibility of data across the organisation from the, both the, the current users and also into the management tier of the business. The traditional software was very much being used only by people to produce accounts, so it was a very small group of about a five user base uh, that we're using on a regular basis. That's been moved up to nearly 20 people now, where a number of them are occasional users, but it means that people get the answers very quickly and they don't have to go through a very long chain of, of information flow and rely on a specific individual to get that. They get their own answer and they get the right answer and they get it very quickly, which is, in terms of making decisions within business, that's a, a key competency for any, any product that we're looking for. Our involvement with Sage, we feel that that say the, the adoption of uh, Sage 200 was actually important in this being able to drive the commercial uh, growth of the business. That's one of the reasons why we selected it. We were very keen to get information out quickly and allow people to make decisions so that we could actually uh, retain a higher level of profit within the business. We knew there was opportunity for us to grow, but without the retained profit and the cash flow that derives from that, we wouldn't have been able to grow the business. And I think that's borne out by the figures that we actually have within uh, that period. Through 2004, we were averaging 14 million. From the point that we actually adopted uh, MMS and Sage 200, we've actually moved through to a current turnover of last year's financial results being uh, just shy of 20 million. The, the core modules, the financials and commercial modules, are extremely robust and well proven. And from uh, the, the, the Fin Machine company's point of view and, uh, and my personal point of view, that gives me a lot of uh, comfort in that I know that I've got a system that will withstand an audit extremely well. It's got the, the control points in place and it presents information in a tried and tested format which is clear, it's concise and it really cuts a lot of the, uh, the, the infrastructure out so it means that we can run with a minimum overhead but still get a very consistent result and a very clear result and that's that's what I'm actually looking for as a managing director I want to see clarity of information and know that those results are correct so I've got no ambiguity or doubt in my mind that the information I'm using could be subject to error. Project accounting fits what we do at, at the Fin Machine Company well because it allows us to run a purchase order driven business. We, we have to design the machines and because of the time scale of, of doing this, we are not able to produce a full bill of material at the point that we need to start manufacturing. So if we have to rely on that full bill of material, you end up having to create a lot of ghost parts to actually hold and reserve so that you can actually run a resource schedule. With it being much more, uh, project accounting being much more driven through the purchase order system, it doesn't stop us. It allows us to do and operate the business as we would, which is we generate works orders and purchase orders through, uh, through internal and external orders, which then give us one list, which means that we're at any stage we can check where we are with the, the project. And these are one-off projects. We don't build um, the same machine hundreds of times. Every single project is different, it's unique. And that's really where project accounting scores. Other systems, if we were into repeats, if we were building 20 machines that are of an identical nature, yes, there would be worthwhile effort put into it to developing a system to actually account for that. But we don't. We make a one-off system for a one-off customer and everyone is different. So it, each job has to be treated as a, a unique enterprise. And that's where project accounting really scores. It gives us that feedback and information with the minimum overhead and extremely quickly and extremely accurately. Currently, the favourite bits of the software are probably the development of the workspaces, the ability to actually see information and key information very quickly and have that drilled and linked together 
means that we can get an overview very, very quickly, and it's, it's moving towards a dashboard concept which allows us to keep key performance indicators on screen when we log in and allow people to tailor that information. So as, as whether it's myself as a managing director or um, other ma departmental heads, they can see the information that's key to them running their department quickly, easily, and then drill into that information. So rather than relying on other people to give them the next tier of information down, they're getting the answers themselves there and then extremely uh, on the spot virtually. It's very good. Where the business partner has provided value is by actually providing bespoke reporting and tailoring the more uh, generic elements of the system to what we actually require. So we have a program at the moment for releasing CRM in the new year uh, through the business partner. And again, because that's a pre-existing module which is well understood by the business partner, they will be able to support that and deliver that much better than uh, we could actually implement ourselves. And the future plans for, for Sage 200 is to further the concept of the workspaces and roll out to the workforce. We have a program for CRM uh, as well, but the main area that we're trying to develop in conjunction is, is for the Sage users to have access to the design office information, both in builder material and uh, 2D and 3D drawings, but also to make that information available via an intranet site onto the shop floor, but have that information only pulled into one central server location. Sage offers the flexibility that we're able to do that without actually creating any bespoke or expensive overhead costs to it. We actually just create a uh, an FTP server where we actually store PDFs and the the workspace concept is flexible enough for us to allow a URL link to the, that product and it's extremely powerful and it enables us to do exactly what we're looking for.